Alright, hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Scrolls. As promised last time, we're going to try a different uh, trial. Uh, we've done the first two now, with uh, some success. And I thought we'd try, we'd just, we'd just go ahead and go a little further. I kind of like this one. Um, uh, same thing, three idols to win. Uh, your opponent's idols begin with just five health. But he begins the battle with a Knight Scholar and an Honorable General. And those are pretty formidable uh, scrolls. Uh, I think, I don't even know if I've seen the Honorable General, but I've seen the Knight Scholar, and they're rough. So we're going to give this one a shot. I, I figured we'd, we'd try to do one that uh, maybe I won't win, <laughs> just to give you some uh, juxtaposition. And of course, right there in the middle. Uh, let's go ahead and look at these guys. Wow, that's incredible. When the Honorable General General's countdown becomes zero, all adjacent units have their countdown decreased by two. That is a that is a good card right there. He's got six defense and four attack. Um, you can draw a scroll if his countdown is zero. Um, so that's that's another good one. Uh, so what to do here, you know? started out with Eye of the Eagle, Eternal Statue, that'll absorb some attack, but not, not all of it. Um, and I got a Frostbeard and Eye of the Eagle, so I think the first thing we want to do is just try to stem the tide that will happen when this guy attacks us, so we're going to get the Eternal Statue down in front, and we're going to go ahead and take the Vitriol Aura and sacrifice that. Oh, but we started out with two, I did not even... That did not even occur to me. Um, so let's go ahead and use this Eye of the Eagle. And got a Kinfolk Brave out there. Awesome. Okay. Okay. Feeling good. I think I might be able to do this. Now, here's one thing I've noticed. I don't know if this is a bug or not. But it says that the countdown is one. But they're flashing, which indicates that they're going to attack after this round. So I guess after my round... It will be their round to attack. I haven't really paid too much attention to that. Um, let's see, we've got three. I I like Frostbeard. I really do. I've got three of them in the deck. But for this juncture right here, I want to try to play both the Vitality Well and the Kinfolk Brave, which means I need to sacrifice one of these. And I think I want to save the Crimson Bull because it's kind of a clutch card. You know, all units you control gain two attack until the end of turn. Um, so if you can really line that up, uh, timing-wise, it can be really good. So we're going to sacrifice the Frostbeard. Sorry, buddy. Throw down the Kinfolk Brave, and we're going to put him right here. Maybe I have to... I might get them to spread out if I do that, and put the Vitality Well in front. Um, which means that it will die first, and it might not do what it's supposed to be doing. So maybe I should have put that in the back. But say la vie, right? So... Oh, yeah. So, there goes the... What is that? Target unit moved... Oh, well. That, I mean... All things considered, that wasn't a bad move. He played this card, which uh, randomly moves one of my uh, units. So, it moved the Vitality Well here. And he got to draw a scroll. So, that's a little daunting. Uh, we'll cast this. Of course, we can't use the Brother of the Wolf, Brother of the Wolf now. Um, so yeah, let's, let's keep plugging along here. That's, it's not going well so far. And then he kabonked me with that card. So one and two, so he's definitely going to attack. Let's get the brother of wolf out here, and let's keep him out of range of this guy's attack. Even though he'd survive it, let's just... Let's try to focus on down here. Try to really take over this bottom three, if possible. So that's that. I really could use some more cards and or more growth resources, but I, again, I want to hold on to these two cards. So let's see what happens. Triadic power. That's that's really good. Um, it's really good, but the problem is, is that it locks a guy into a space. So if they have a move of one, and their move is decreased by one, they can't move until they die. Um, I like that card, but 
it can be risky because, you know, they once once an idol's down, they can't, you know, position themselves accordingly. So he's got one more round till he's ready to attack. Um, so we're not going to put down the totem just yet. I want to use. Uh, I guess we should, right? Let's go ahead and do that. Put the totem back there. And oh. I want cards, but I don't know what to, to get rid of. It's frustrating. All right, we're just going to roll the dice, or roll a die, something like that. I can't remember which one's plural and which one's singular. There goes my vitality well. Taking six points of damage to one of our idols. He's going to attack, and I'll tell you what. He is going to take out that idol, and... I'm gonna sacrifice. Well, no, he's my only creature out right now. See, that's the thing. I can't, I can't lock him into place with Dryadic Power because if he kills this thing right off the bat, all he is gonna be after that is an attacking wall. You know that might be really useful because they're gonna try to come down towards me. Uh, and I can't believe she hasn't played, um, or he. I'm not sure the gender of this person over here, but uh, I can't believe they haven't played anything else. They got seven cards in their hand. Uh, but they haven't sacrificed anything for resources very much. They've only got two points. Hmm. What to do, what to do. I'm not going to do that one. Um, I guess I could just use the Crimson Bull. Or I could... Uh, you know what? We're going to do it. And so he'll kill that, and he is now just a, a bulwark against future foes that try to come down this way. So that's one. That's one out of the way. Um, he's about to nearly take down my idol. Kinfolk Brave. Awesome. We're going to throw him down right here. And he will attack next round, as will this guy, but we'll have nobody to attack. Uh, I will be able to summon a wolf, though. I, I forgot about that now. Um, so we're going to do that. We're also going to give uh, this guy the bear paw. Um, because that means that on his first attack... If he gets to it in two rounds, he'll be able to take down this idol, and we'll be sitting pretty. So, let's get it. Yeah, and here come the creatures, unfortunately. Alright, buddy. Let's summon a wolf. And he's about to attack, so we're definitely not going to summon there. So we'll summon here. Oh, that, no, that was a bad idea. I'll have him right here. Uh, because if, if he's going to attack next round, he's going to take out the idol. And then we need to start working on one of these three up here. Um, so. Yeah, I should have probably used the Crimson Bull, put him right here, and sacrificed him to get rid of this dead infantryman. Or whatever he is. Ducal. He's not dead. Not yet, anyways. Alright. Um, yeah, we're going to use, use, use you for cards, I think. And I got another one of them, of course. But the Vitality Well is, is well well welcomed. Um, and we're just going to throw it down here. Just to let it do its thing and hopefully not get taken out. And that's it for this round. So, a nice non-hit. That was poor planning on my part. Oh yeah, move down here. Please. Please. Of course he's going to take out... Oh my goodness. Oh no! Ah, <laughs> that was my whole plan. Oh, it's been shattered. And, of course, I get the Jarl. I can't use him right now. Oh, this is just... It's become a travesty here. And, of course, he can't move, and he can't even kill that guy. Unless I give him the Crimson Bull next round. <sighs> that throws a wrench in the works. I will tell you that. Whoa, whoa. Return to my hand? Well, thanks, buddy. That's fantastic. I'll take it. And you're going to attack my vitality well? You know what? Go for it, buddy. Go for it. Um, let's play... Yeah, let's play the Ancestral Totem first. Then we're going to move... Um, this guy up and he will attack and get a good three hit on that whittling it down 
They're down here being stupid. Um, we'll get that guy in next round. We're going to sacrifice the Yarl for cards. Ilthorn. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Um, they will not be, he won't be able to move to hit him. And he doesn't have enough health to be healed. You know, he's not, he's gonna die if he gets hit, basically. So. That's that. I have a feeling this ancestral totem will be taken out. Oh no. The Royal Vanguard. Yeah, adjacent to attack. That's no bueno. Okay, we're going to sacrifice the Le Leeching Ring. We're going to get the Brother of the Wolf out here. No, we're not. No, we're not. Because he's on an attack mode. If I were him, I would stay there and kill that idol. But if I put out this Brother of the Wolf, I fear that he will want to move up and attack it. And that's not what I want. So... I think we're just going to absorb the, um, yeah, we're just going to do some defense here, I think. I mean, I could technically put down the Brother of the Wolf and the Illthorn. I might do that. Let's do that. So, Illthorn, right here, Brother Wolf, right here, and that's it. moved up. Push back. What does that mean? Really? Again? I mean, I liked it the first time, but do not like the second time. Oh, no. Is he relentless? No, he's not. Okay. Okay. That changes the game. Alright, well, hey. We're about to take down the idol number two. So that is excellent. Ugh. How frustrating. Alright, let's get this brother of the wolf back out there. And we're going to throw down a junkyard and a junkyard. And hit the next round. Might be able to pull this out. We might be able to do this. Oh, another honorable general. Are you kidding me? This is preposterous. He's got just a wall of madness right here. Uh, plus two attack. Yeah, that's going to be super helpful next round. So... Let's actually, we're going to sacrifice, and oh, he's going to have it next round, too. No, this is it. This is it right here. So we're going to go ahead and give this guy the champion ring. Barring this guy bringing out another creature or wall up here, which he's very, li very likely to do. We're going to get some new cards for the next round. Yes. Okay, we got haste on the veteran. Let's do this. What do you got, buddy? What are you going to do? Take out my wolf. No! What is that? Oh my goodness. How many of those cards can he have? That's the third one. I can't believe he's gotten them all in a row. Uh. Alright, well, let's, let's get the veteran out here and get a quick hit on this thing. I guess. I mean... Now we get all the creatures. Oh, I see how it is, game. Another Royal Vanguard. At least you put him down there. I might be able to pull this out. There it goes. That's... Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Getting tense. What to do... She's got a, everybody's got a countdown of two, and nobody's got haste. So I could try to sacrifice and get another veteran. He's got one round. So this guy's got one round to defend this thing, and he's definitely going to want to move this guy up here, I believe. So we need to get some insurance up there. So let's, I mean, I feel like that's something to do. That's something to do. Uh, we draw a card, we get a Ragged Wolf. Of course we can't put him out this round. Uh, I could sacrifice this and put him out this round. But now I can't put him anywhere that's with, to, you know, to have any kind of efficacy. Uh, and I can't kill any of these guys. Oh, I could put him here and take out the Zealot. That is what I'm going to do. Absolutely. Absolutely. freaking lutely Yes. I like that. Okay, it's coming down.
coming down to this. This is a big round. Yep. Yep. Damn it. Well, there goes my attack. Grr. What does this guy have? Four? Five. Four. Okay. Ugh. He's gonna attack and not be able to kill him. That is a bummer. But he will attack next round and kill him. Phil Thorne is there. Alright. Playing the Great Wolf. Because it gives me more attack on my two wolves. Right? Or no, he gets more attack. I always mess I always get that backwards. Oh well. Throw down the Elthorn here, because this is where the fight is right now. And he's catching on to it. Or she, he, she. I, it's hard to say over there. No! Oh! Oh, oh if I could have just gotten that idol at the bottom, this game would be pretty much over at this point. Well, it looks like we're going to get two hits over here, which is, which is good. Uh, we'll get two hits in on this guy, but going to attack us three and three so that's gone he'll stay alive that'll be there to attack let's get another brother of the wolf right here sacrifice if we get some enchantments yes yes plus two attack is not gonna help us with this guy Plus two attack will help us with her. Because she'll take three out. That'll be one out. I mean, we're just, we're so close. We're so, so close. And then let's go ahead and get an Illthorn on um, this guy. Okay. See, we're, we're so close. One and one. I mean, we just got to get one hit on one of these two. And, uh, and, and. It's not looking good. Sorry for the knock. Alright. I need some firepower up there. Oh. Oh. No, he's got two of my idols. Okay. So he's got three left. He's relentless. And he's going to take that. Oh, this is it. This is it. Countdown decreased by one. Full on attack, boys. Light up the eyes. Little, uh... I believe that's three ninjas. There it is. Victory. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I was worried about this one. What a battle. So it's pretty fun. I mean, it's a good strategy game. I gotta say. So I got some more gold. And we will do the same thing we always do. Try to take over the world. No, uh, we'll load our deck up. And... Oh, no. No, no. Oh. Wrong order. We'll go to the store. Buy a couple scrolls. Vitality well. I'll take it. Essence Feast. Don't like it. I mean, I do, but I don't. Um, because it is hard to make it useful. So, let's go back here. Load the deck. And let's see, Vitality Well, Vitality Well. Yeah, we want three of those, I think. Um, can't fit any more Frostbeards. That is extra, I could sell it, I take it. Eternal Statue. Did I not save after the last, I don't think I saved. I think that's what happened. Uh, I do not care for the Essence Feast. I really, really don't. I've got two of them. I mean, it would, it's a good card to play. I could have played it r last round, so maybe I'll put one in, just to have it. And then there's nothing else I want to put in. So, let's save. Done and done. Check out the profile. 15 and 9, not too bad. That's not a great record. Uh, the rarities, I haven't really figured out card rarities yet. Uh, I really don't know. Um... 
you know, what is rare, what is not rare. Uh, I, I heard somebody say you can tell by the colors around the out, outer edge. Uh, maybe it's the pattern around the outer edge. But, you know, there's nothing that, like, indicates, nothing that tells me, okay, well, that's, that's this rarity, and that's super rare, or whatever. I mean, I believe the God Hand, where is it? It's supposed to be rare, and it's got a little frilly side as opposed to this planar side that the rest of the basic cards have. But um, I really don't know. And also, I don't know if it's higher, but you can tell there's a little bit of, like, detail in the card. Um, so I assume that these are rare cards, but it's, it's really hard for me to say. Anyways want to say thanks for watching, guys. Uh, we're going to get back at this next time and keep the winning streak alive. Uh, you know, if you enjoyed this episode, go ahead and hit that like button. It really does help out. And uh, I will see you next time for some more Scrolls action. Oh, yeah. Bye.